Are you pulling plant tissue tests on your farm this summer? We're getting lots of questions about how to fix some of the micronutrient deficiencies showing up across the country. Micronutrient application is the topic of today's Iron Talk. First of all, in most cases you can utilize a highly available form of your desired micronutrient and get it into the crop with a foliar feed. Now will it help you with your yield 100% of the time? Of course not. While a foliar application of micros is often a good idea, too often it comes after a deficiency has already been seen or has shown up on a test. This tells me you've already lost yield. To fix that situation long term, in most cases a soil applied solution between crops will do the trick and could be even cheaper. While you don't need many pounds of micronutrients to feed good crops, the challenge is the level of micros often varies across a field and you're only applying small amounts of them. The other challenge is you may be high in something like zinc and low in iron on one grid point and just the opposite in another. So how do you apply each one accurately? Variable rate application has just been a game changer. Ideally, you or your fertilizer dealer has a spreader with multiple hoppers to accomplish this. I'm not comfortable with blending micros with your NPK prescription as you can't vary their application and they're rarely the same density as the NP and K. Another alternative, especially with nutrients that you need just a small amount of, is to use liquid formulations. You can blend them with water to increase the volume enough to get a great spray pattern and coverage. Finally, it may take multiple trips across a field to apply micros one nutrient at a time if you want to vary the rate of a bunch of different nutrients. The good thing with micros is your crop won't take so many out of the ground that you need to do this every year. One application could be all you need for 10 or 20 years on micros like copper or manganese. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.